Hello, I'm Doc Sloan and welcome to my science fiction station. Today is our first anniversary on YouTube. It's the 3rd of June 2021. And to celebrate and to thank you, our viewers, we thought we would tell you a story. I'm not going to tell you what type of story it is just yet. I'll, you'll figure it out at the end. Um, what I will say is it's, it's a bit of fun and a bit of an experiment and it's a common trope within science fiction writing this type of story see if you can figure out what it is before you get to the end but if you can't the end might just make you think a bit so here we go this story is called a girl and her dog are you sitting comfortably then i'll begin so a girl and her dog are walking along the beach at downhill under the shadow of Mosenden temple so the dog is called Laylaps, and it runs off, sniffing about and running along the beach as it does, and it finds something of great interest, that whenever the girl calls the dog, it will not come. Forced to come and see what the dog Laylaps has found, uh, the girl discovers that there's something strange buried in the sand. She can see something glinting in the sun, uh, reflecting off something that's just buried beneath the surface. So she investigates because the dog will not come to her call and she finds that the dog has been digging away at something there and that sure enough there seems to be something like glass there. So the girl scrapes away around the sand and finds out that this object, there's some sort of object buried there, that it's like a white cylindrical object, almost like a coffin with a, like a visor plate. And inside is indeed a man and there's breath on the plate and as she peers in she can see that this man has a massive injury to one side of his face um, and seems to be quite badly injured uh, not knowing what to do what the, what is going on there are strange symbols all over this thing she quickly picks up her dog Laylaps and runs to her house she phones the police and the emergency services and gets an ambulance out and on the beach uh, the local police and the ambulance make a decision to get this man out they prize the thing open he's not conscious he is badly injured and they get him into an ambulance and rush him to the hospital. So the girl decides to visit the man in hospital and he hasn't regained consciousness just yet and it in fact takes several days for him to come to. Um, he has quite a bad injury to his face and because of the bruising and the swelling and so on the, and he doesn't know his own name, the girl decides to call him Peleus after the father of Achilles who had a bruised face. Um, time goes by and the man makes a recovery but he does not regain his memories and cannot think of who he was or his name or his family or anything. He seems to have some skills intact though and he ends up working in the local community doing various mechanical and engineering work. As time goes by the girl and Peleus fall in love and they build a life together and though he never really remembers who he was his life begins from the day he woke up in the hospital. They have a son and the son grows up to become a physicist and one day does a PhD in theoretical physics and as part of the PhD, together with his father, he builds a working model of a time machine. Peleus and his son decide to test the son's time machine and they get in it, setting it for 100 years in the past. The time machine actually works, much to their surprise. But they've put so much time into the workings and mechanics of the machine that they haven't put very much thought into the actual travel itself. Hurtling 100 years into the past, they realise that they will indeed arrive a century earlier, but it's going to take them four months to get there. In that time, there's no food, no drink on board. They're going to starve to death. It's as simple as that. Both Peleus and his son will die. So Peleus comes up with an idea. He says to his son, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to stab myself in the heart and I want you to drain all the blood out of my body and you're going to preserve that and use that as fluids and you're going to dissect up my body and turn it into meat and you're going to eat me. And you're going to use that to survive to 100 years in the past and then you can go back to the future and stop us from doing this and I'll be okay. So I won't really be dead. We can prevent it from happening. The son doesn't really want to do this, but Peleus forces the issue, knowing that it's, it's difficult. So he stabs himself in the heart. 
but it doesn't quite all it doesn't it's not enough to kill him and he begs his son to help him so the son puts his hand on the edge of this knife with the hand on, on top of his father's hand and they together push the knife into Peleus's heart totally killing him the son follows his father's instructions drains off the blood chops up the body into pieces uses some of the refrigerants in the time machine to help cool and freeze these parts of his father's body and is forced to eat his father's <laughs> uh, and drink his father's blood in order to survive uh, three to get these four months into the past so the time machine he does it basically so he does this routine he eats his father over for over four months and uh, eventually the time machine arrives a hundred years in the past but it kind of crash lands it's damaged and he discovers that it's he's not going to be able to go back to the future the thing is kaput it's not going to work again he's able to meet a local man who's an engineer and who works in England on large mega structures and this chap is at home uh, on holiday and is able to sort of they meet and is able to sort of help him out with his time machine and get it under wraps a bit and explains what happens and and Peleus's son explains what has happened to this guy to this engineer so he decides that with the material built into the time machine itself that he has enough working material to create a cryonic suspension chamber which he will put himself in. If he can't travel to the future in the time machine, he will go with the sleeper shall awaken method. And he talks to the engineer and explains how they might build this from the various parts of the time machine. And with the engineer's help uh, and his knowledge, he is able to create a cryonic freezer. Just as they're beginning the process of putting their plan in action, there is a rock slide and the sun looks up and gets struck by a boulder right on the head, knocking him brutally unconscious. Blood and swelling begin to flow up immediately. So the badly injured Peleus is examined by the engineer who realises that this injury is really bad. And having been briefed on what cryonics are, decides to put the sun into the, the cryonic capsule that they've created and activated. He then takes it out onto the beach at Downhill and buries it in the sand. And a hundred years later, a girl and her dog are walking on the beach. So this is what we call a causal loop. And they can be quite fun and they can be handled in many different ways. I thought I'd present this one to you tonight. Um, as I said, because I've been thinking about it and I've been thinking about swapping the gender of the girl uh, to make the girl the boy and actually have the time traveller uh, to be female because the possibilities create uh, more opportunities and in fact even if we uh, it would be quite interesting if you could create a transgender uh, character here uh, because we really just the, the layers of complexity to this type of story are fascinating and fun so um, this is a causal loop and I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't figured it out yet, Peleus, the main character, is his own father, is his own son. Not only does he kill himself, but he murders himself and technically he eats himself and <laughs> uh, as well as eating his own father um, and his mother is his wife. There we go. How did I do? I hope you enjoyed this and thank you very much for watching. This was all just a wee bit of fun. We hope to supply you with a wee bit more science fiction content very, very soon. Uh, and if you're enjoying this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, all the very best. Have a good evening. Bye bye.